Booyakasha! Welcome back to another episode of If You Can't Handle the Heat, it's your boy G Swizz. To my left, Jokesy Worsley. Jokesy, how are we doing? Doing phenomenal in Germany. Glad to hear it. Below me, Micah, King K, the, the King K himself. Well, I guess, no, you're not a descendant of King K, but I don't know what I just did no. there. I think my I think I have a really good streak going of just horrendous intros. Like for, that's my third one in a row where I'm just that's good though. It. At least you're consistent. You can make it your yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. <laughs> just, I should. We should have a guest on here where I uh, um where they never even heard of us or they don't know what's up and I just absolutely butcher it, and then you guys just like go off me like Gage. Oh my god, you're embarrassing us or just something like that. I feel like we should just spoof one person one day and just really mess with them. But then again, if we tell him, like, oh, no, we're just messing with you, then he'd be like, okay, whatever. Yeah, that was very <laughs> good. Good job. <laughs> yeah, that would be just bad. Anyways, um, well, how you guys – have you guys started friendly matches, first things first? How you guys doing? We're playing Berlin tomorrow night. We're going driving to Berlin. In a friendly. In a friendly? In a, in a friendly, in a friendly, yeah, friendly match. Okay. Our season starts in two and a half weeks, so finally we've get our played, Brazilian outs. We've played four friendlies. We you played, guys win them all. We played Mitch Stahl the first the first game. We beat them, and then we played Zoxa with Eric Shoji and Dave Smith, and we split two two. We played them again, and we lost three one. And then we just played tonight Xavierche, who has Facundo Conte, Conti, um, Kovacevic. Even though Jeez. Kovacevic wasn't there, he's playing in the final actually which is held in Katowice. The fi- the European Championship is the semis and finals are in Katowice where I'm at. So that's pretty cool. Are you going to go? No, but I was asked to go by Xavier who's my agent. Um he's here but Zana's here and then but then we were supposed to have a game tomorrow so I was like ah oh, it's kind of seems a little, like a lot but our game got canceled and then we're like oh do you still have to take it to give him away cuz dude if you don't know, Polish people love their volleyball. I heard that the fi- – like, so, even my teammates were all trying to find po- tickets. They couldn't. I could f- probably find because Alan Pyank, our middle from last year, is playing um, Poland. Poland. He's on Slovenia, and I don't think he has a lot of people in Katowice right now like to give tickets to. So maybe I could have asked him. But um, I think they're going for – somebody said the minimum was 500 euros – for a ticket to the finals. What's the max? Is it like floor seats? Is it like NBA finals? Like That's a good question, like... but our opposite today was like, oh, I looked at the, the minimum was 500 euros. I was like, Jesus, that's ridiculous. Did I that actually tell... is ridiculous. Cause that's more than like Sputnik eight. Has, it's 10,000 people. So it's like, that could be a bad seat. That's a good point. Easily. Yeah. That's it, us. It, that, that's more than like a... a list American pro leagues right now. Like the top like you look at like NFL, MLB, NBA tickets, they're not even going for that much right now. Like Yeah. How how much is like an NBA ticket or a NFL ticket? I, I mean granted it really varies. Like if you're trying to see LeBron play Curry, you're gonna probably pay a lot more than if you're trying to watch it. <laughs> Plus five hundred euros game. is more. Is more but in, I don't than, know. Well, yeah, Euro the Euro is like a dollar eighteen or a dollar nineteen, I think. It's like yeah, That's it's like wild. one yeah. 1.18, I think. Yeah. Which is also well, nice for all those future professional volleyball players. It's also nice because a lot of times you get your contract in euros, and then you're like, oh, it's actually a little bit more. It's a little icing on yeah. the cake right there. Did, did I ever tell you guys that? Did I ever tell you guys that the first time I came into Bulgaria, the first thing I saw in Navarna, I was in the airport. We walked out, we walked in there, and there was a commercial. And it was Sokolov, and I saw Rado in the commercial. I've got to tell you guys this. No way. I was like, yeah. And the TV <laughs> the court was like, what the hell? I was like, Rado's back. I was like, I recognize that. I recognize that back of the head, Rado. Uh, and it was Rado. It was. It was It was literally him. And it was just kind of cool. Hilarious. that. Uh, uh, I was like, wow. That's ironic. I never told him that, actually. i got to tell him that one Yeah, time. like a lot of the Polish players are on, like, all the bus stops and some buses and stuff. That's sick, bro. Um, so sick. So, yeah, we played, them, we played them tonight. And that team is so good. They have – do you guys know the setter Kavana? Yeah. He's, their ba- he's the backup setter. And then 
Um, so that team had Garrett Mogatutia last year, and their starting setter and starting opposite stayed, and they signed starting setter and starting opposite. So their backup squad is ridiculous. It's Conti, um, Kovacevic, Konarski, if people are familiar with um, Polish I don't know if our for listeners like will most be, of the quad. Yeah. For most of the quad, he was the backup opposite for Poland behind Kurek. Um, didn't go to the Olympics because catch Marek. Anyways, a lot of names that probably a lot of people don't know. But it's nice when you're in Europe, you learn so much about the history of volleyball yes. and like these players know the all the coaches they're like oh yeah this coach is and i'm like i don't know anyone or like oh d- do you know this guy like he's a legend and like he won like european championships like and i'm like geez like we don't know anything about Dude, volleyball americans, in america americans d- americans are just far well first of all i've realized well three things americans are so far-fetched when it comes to either his history or any world events america is mm-hmm. so far away from, obviously we we I mean, I'm not political at all, but obviously we we usually tend to be in the middle of those political events or something that happened, or a lot of time that's not the, the case. But like, we're still so far away from everything because they're close to Europe, they're close to I mean, they're Europe's close to Asia, close to everything like everything else, you know? Right. And the Middle East and everything, so they're like really close to everything. So they and all like the, the history is always changing, and then everyone thinks everyone's like so everyone just thinks on my team that Americans all we have is fast food and all we eat is fast food, and obviously America does lead the the world of fast food but it's like that's like not always the case you know what i'm saying like like oh yeah like when we go get a burger we don't just like go to uh, to mcdonald's like we have it at the restaurants i was like we have burgers at restaurants <laughs> like like i like we have steak we have chicken like one of the, my teammates leo was like he's like yeah he's like he's like he's like he's like i i uh He's like the meat's way better here. I'm like, yeah, it's good, but like, I like, I, I can go. Like, it's not just fast food meat. He's like, yeah. He's like, have you killed your own meat yet? <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? He's like, have you killed your own meat? I was like, he's like, I haven't. I was like, I haven't done it before. He's like, then you're not your own man. I don't consider you a man yet. <laughs> I'm like, I guess that's fair. I guess you know. Um, but they also think we're really stupid. I mean, I guess I, mean, I don't know. I mean, they like I said, they're in the middle of stuff, so they understand stuff. Anyway, I don't want to get off task here. I want to kind of proceed with the with the topics here. And that's so our for, intro. Exactly. That's Our physio. Well, have you have you played a friendly match? No, yet? I have not. Cage? I have not. Okay. I think we're going to Greece in like I think a week and a half, two weeks. Okay. Um, so that's exciting. I'm really excited. I'm gonna break my diet and try gyro there. That's for sure. I'm, no one's gonna Ooh, stop yeah, me. Totally. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, so for those listening out there, this is gonna be a uh, all around podcast. Whether you're a youth volleyball listener, uh, women's volleyball, NCAA, beach. Uh, professional USA. We're going to talk about it all. There's a lot of recent events that you guys may not know about, but this has been going on that we want to kind of talk about. First things first, obviously our, our, our father, Roger Worsley, Joe and I's father, and um, Micah's godfather, Roger Worsley, <laughs> Owen's Pacific Rim. <laughs> Owen's Pacific Rim, and he has a lot of ties with a lot of the club directors. And one thing that, um, one of the big things in club volleyball right now that's happening is and we heard, kind of heard about chirps. On the boys' side. Last, on the boys' side, thank you. Uh, um, chirps about it. Last year when we went to all these tournaments and got close to all these club directors, is that people are not happy with USA Volleyball when it, when it comes to the junior level, when it comes to the organization. They are not happy whatsoever. So during COVID, um, a lot of them talked to us and the, to the fellow club directors, and a lot of them are not are going to stop going. I mean, big, big clubs, like the best clubs, are going to stop going to USA Volleyball Nationals and start going to AU Nationals in Orlando, Florida uh, in the summer, in the summers as well. So there's going to be a, C, a lot less NC. Uh, uh, the, t- like, the real question is, like for example, I'll give you a few examples. One of them is like Balboa Bay is not going to go. I know my brad was telling me a lot of the NorCal teams aren't going to go. Charlie Wade was telling us a lot of the Hawaii teams are so mad. And apparently it kind of came up like this. I, I only know What is going hand. on? Th- this is all I know. This is, this is what I know, is that when COVID hit, they felt that USA um, didn't do anything. They, I think they said it's something like they, they, all they cared about was the women's volleyball, and I don't know, or the girls' volleyball. Well, obviously, that's a big moneymaker. I get it. But, like, you got to take care of both sides, you know, if, if you ask me. Um, so it's like – so they were not happy with the way they handled COVID. And, and, like, for example, so that's why you saw all these other organizations outside of USA Volleyball-ran organizations start popping up and running tournaments. Like, we went to the SoCal Cup – and SoCal, and that's that's when the kind of and they run a good tournament and everything. And when you run a good tournament, even if it wasn't a good tournament, they were just happy to play. And they felt that USA Volleyball didn't do anything. They just, 
I think maybe they did some for girls volleyball. I'm not sure on, on that on that half of, on that half of things, but that's all I know. And then also, people USA volleyball. One of their big money makers is they sign these deals with um, the hotels at nationals. It's called uh, um, I forget what it is. Uh, stay, and stay and play policy. Yeah, stay and play. play. So basically, if you sign up for nationals, you can only sign up for you can only. Um, Stay at these certain hotels, bam, 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 and you have to. And are they assigned by USA Volleyball too? Well, USA Volleyball signs a deal, and then what happens is when these rooms are all there's like blocks that are assigned out, and then USA Volleyball gets a percentage of that. Yeah. So they force you to stay in the hotels. They and they the, force a certain amount of people from each team, right? Where it's like three rooms yeah. per team or something. Each yeah, like each or club or I don't know if they do it by club or if it's no, by team. Club, clubs are in different. Clubs can be like if you're in a sibling, you could be staying. Your parents could be staying at, like, one sibling can stay at one hotel, and they play for the same club, and one stay for another. It's not the yeah. same club. It's so it's crazy. by teams. It's blocked out, and you have to use a minimum amount, or else you get hit with some something. I don't know exactly know what it is, Go but ahead. that's a huge thing. The stay and play policy is a big kind of. I don't know. People aren't super stoked about it because usually it's right. the nice hotels, the expensive hotels. Right. USA Volleyball gets a big chunk of it, and so. That's a, just a political thing that definitely frustrates people. And, so, and like, so the stay and play and the fact that they didn't offer any opportunities to play? I think there's there's some more behind the scene, like, and they're just frustrated with them. There's there's probably some more stuff behind the scenes, but as far okay. as we know, that's what we know. What does your dad – does your dad have any – So my dad is kind of in a quandary now. Like I said, like, like the big clubs from SoCal, it's not like just like, oh, like one good club going. Like It's like the right. big clubs are all going there. So now it's like – do you go to USA? I mean, what's the, the what, what would be the point if your big swingers are all going? What would, you win a nationals now? You're not you're not winning nationals anymore. <laughs> nationals will turn <laughs> like, into the best. Like exactly, like, like, everybody people, left. There's only like five teams we could win nationals. I mean, that's how AAU nationals were. Like Ocean Bay or Florida team would win it, and they'd be like number one, baby. I'd be like, what? <laughs> and then they come to the USA nationals and get like 17th at best. I'm like, what the heck? Like. The there like, was oh, yeah, always those teams, and I don't, like, mean to, like, I don't know. Everyone does things a little differently, but there always were those teams. I don't know about California, but in Hawaii, that would be like, oh, gold medals, baby, like gold medals. Oh, club like, volleyball, man. They'd oh, be like God, flight dude. flight two on, like, the woman's side or, like, Amer- it's, like, American. Or I'm like, what does American mean? They're like, well, there's open. Something, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> Delta, United, Southwest, and then there's American. I'm like, oh, wow. So you guys got like 129. And they're like, dude, gold medals, like posting. I'm like, oh, wow. Because there was no, and, and even like club, yeah, on the men's side, we only have open and club, I believe. No, we have three. Know. Open, what do we American, have? and club. They opened a new one. Since when we were there, there was only two. But Okay, when ever- we were there, it was open and club. And people would be flossing their yeah. clubs. And I'm like, dude. Every oh, single Jesus one besides Christ. open, you just pay to to enter. As long as you pay, you can enter. Oh, got it. <laughs> you don't because have to qualify. Also, people would come up and ask, like, wait, these people, like, won that Nationals tournament? Like, that didn't play volleyball, you know? Yeah. They're like, You'd be like, wait, those guys won? Like, I'm, what's the, like, dude. competition like? I'm like, oh, there's, like, two different divisions. That's why. Dude, that thing I was uh, so not much. to not to like bring that. I don't know. I feel bad. Yeah, but you don't they say, like, oh, yeah. Like, and they put, like, their Instagram bios. National champions, maybe they're oh, like, oh yeah, or like clubs. Then the clubs start to be like, yeah, national champions, everything. Like they won. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. like national. Come Spooky on, Nuke man. from Ohio won the national championship for boys volleyball. <laughs> like, yeah, you shouldn't even be doing that if you are winning. Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, I think that. Let alone if you're <laughs> not. <laughs> Dude, Jesus I don't know. Christ. I don't know. But that's that's what's happening for guys. So. So my dad okay. kind of finds himself in a situation of like, I mean, because like I said, hey, exactly. well, the other thing, the other thing is my dad's very hard headed, as you know, and he's like yeah. not willing, not willing to change really. Like, I'm going yeah. USA volleyball. I'm like, and he, and he's like talking about how AU has always been this kind of like second tier tournament. Yeah. And I'm like, change. and I'm like, well now USA volleyball is definitely the second tier tournament. Right. Like if you look. And so it's like, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to decide to do, but I know it'll be tough for him to switch if he does because that's just how yeah, he is. He like <laughs> or we could we could be like, we could come to USA Volleyball and be like, hey, if we bring all the teams back, 
you give us like oh we get profits or something like that, we'd find Here's, a way to get all listen, the teams. Listen, to USA Volleyball. <laughs> we have the real stand play policy. Right? <laughs> We're gonna get teams to stay in your <laughs> tournament, not in the hotel. In your tournament. Dude, imagine we did that. We just like, we just create a deal with them. We're like, all right, yeah. well, what, we what, guarantee. What will we offer? What will, what will we compl- What will we offer? What can we? You just you just offer you offer Bay to Bay and Balboa Bay a chunk of the money, <laughs> like split it fifty fifty with them. Yeah, right? yeah. The other clubs would be so mad. Yeah, like, I guess we could. All you have to do is get those two clubs, and it's like they won. They were in every finals. I swear, we were there for. But like, then teams will the follow finals. too. If they go back, teams will follow too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You want to play where the best are, pl- are playing, then you want to probably follow those clubs. <laughs> That's true. Those I don't those know. two clubs are doing something right because when we were there, I swear, like, I I know that the 14s final was Bay to Bay, Balboa. I know that the 15s were um, Balboa. Right, those guys are super good. The team we watched. Mm-hmm. There's Balboa 16s was Bay. Balboa and, and Bay to Bay. 18s, I don't remember. 17s, Sass, Pac-Man. baby. 18, hey, 18s ma- was huge Pac-Man. shout out. Huge shout out to, to, the Sa- to Sass winning 17s yeah. open. That's sick. That's sick. R- rocky start, and I was like, all right. I'll oh, see you guys. God. <laughs> Rick Toon to the moon. Yeah. Coach Toon to the moon. Yeah, and Coach Kyle. Kyle. Coach Kyle. Colton does a lot on that. He did a lot on that team. He was there to show face. Yeah. Lighten, what is it called? Lighten District? What's it called? The the Lighten. Oh, the Power, power Light, light. District. Power he was light there district. for the Colton. <laughs> Colton was there for the Power Light District. Oh, man. That place was That's super a, cool. Pig Witch. Pig Witch is the spot. Dude, if you, I follow, your, if you don't listen to us and... You've not seen anything. If you're in Kansas City, go to Pigwitch. Or even if you're not in Kansas City, go like, <laughs> go yeah, drive. If you're like ten hours away, <laughs> find a way, dude. I would dude. I would find a way to like store that where you can come visit, order a bunch of stuff, and somehow like preserve it. Dude, Freeze I want to order the sauce. Oh my goodness, man! It was so good. Holy cow! One thing I didn't realize <laughs> about nationals is like. Like for even the, even the guys, the kids going or the, the younger people going, it's like it's a big party. Like for the coaches, I didn't realize like the older the coaches and stuff, they're going out like dang. Well, obviously not our coaches, like back room, but like a lot yeah, of the your coaches dad there, and my dad aren't 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 doing a lot. Yeah, of well, that. well, that's why they're winning. I mean, that's a lot of they're successful and stuff. But like, there's a lot of coaches out there, especially because there's a lot of younger crowd mid yeah, mid. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, I didn't realize they like, they just go out and party. Like I didn't know that at all. It's like a big thing, and, and that's like. And then I also didn't realize that the kids do the same thing. Obviously, the kid, the kids, we did not have anything to do with that or anything like that. But like, they for do? example, oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Like people go out and like, like the kids go out and like drink and like. For example, I remember for the national championship, I was like, oh yeah, one kid was like high during the game, like high, getting high all the time. I was like, it's like what? And like all these kids like sneaking out and doing all this crazy stuff because you hear stories when you go to SoCal. Dang, and a lot of those teams like, oh this, yeah, I didn't know it either. I didn't. I didn't. Well, we stayed in houses like away yeah, yeah. from the place, so like we were. And we didn't. We weren't involved in a lot of that stuff. So. Yeah, exactly. So I think we were we were very f- focused when we got there, just kind of separate from the whole community. Anyway. Our yeah, <laughs> our teams, but both, both Mike and Steve and our team. We you, weren't even. My dad to ran watch a tight ship. Games. You what? Huh? We weren't even allowed to watch any other game. Yeah, at Nationals. yeah. I don't think I watched I one we game. Begged, to be I remember we begged my dad on the way out. We saw Taylor Sander playing. Which might be a nice segment, but maybe not. Oh, it's um, perfect, actually. Yeah, we watched Taylor Sander playing, and we were like, Dad, this guy's so good, please. And he's like, I'll give him two minutes. And he did something incredible. My dad's like, all right, we'll stay for the rest of the game. And we stayed for, like, ten points, and we were, like, elated. We were like, we got to watch. Like, we've never, we've never seen volleyball at Nationals before. Yeah, my dad <laughs> made that really We're not allowed to watch. Yeah, that's exact. Cause I remember I wandered off one time, like I was really young. So from then on, I, he would never let me do it. But that's a good segue. Great segue, Micah. I love where your mind's at. Um, Taylor Sander. So one thing, like I said, we're gonna be talking about everything here. Taylor Sander. Taylor Sander is officially retired from the USA national team. Officially retired from overseas, if I'm not correct, as well. And he is well. He's a Huntington boy. He, he was born born and raised there. Um, and obviously surfing. If you ever met the guy or just heard the guy talk. 
you realize that that's exactly where he belongs. <laughs> and if you didn't know, if you had never seen him play, I think you could probably guess that he's a pretty insane beach volleyball player as well. So basically, lately uh, he retired, and now he's officially switching to the beach he game. He came out officially? Uh, I, you, it was a hard uh, It was, it was so pretty. It was like a, 10 times from you. Oh, how <laughs> it's officially it's, official, uh, non officially, like, is, is it officially it official. official. And, you're like, and you're like, uh, it's wait, gauge it's official. official. It's gauge official. Time, well, I don't know. I thought you were asking me like, gauge. Are you supposed to be saying that? And I was like, uh, I, I, I think. <laughs> is that what we're <laughs> talking about? <laughs> if it is out in the open, if it's not, I'm sure. It will no, it's out in the open. The entire AVP like uh, okay, okay. TV team was is very aware. Like all they did was talk yeah, about yeah, it the yeah. entire tournament. Oh, okay. And. And he's not. He's well. The big question was who's going to play with Taylor Crab this summer after Jake Gibley's. We're like, oh, try born this. He got someone even better than all those. He got friggin' Taylor Sanders. So Taylor and Taylor are linking up. That's gonna be an insane combo. Uh, I heard there were like videos swirling around about them on the beach, but I haven't seen at practice. No, you were at practice, yeah, Micah. Yeah, I watched them play. Yeah. How was that? Pretty gnarly. Um, so. Chris Crab, which is Taylor Crab's dad, was there. And we're, I was there for the Manhattan Beach Open, and just watching Winning the practice. It. Um, <laughs> and Please Chris was me. like, and Chris was like, dude, Taylor, I brought Taylor Crab, his son, up to play in like a youth tournament on the beach, and Sander and his partner. He's like, I've never seen players this good in my life. Like, I, apparently he had a partner that went to UCI. And these two together at 16, and granted, like, Chris Crab knows, like, he's been at Auerger f- since it existed and has seen a lot of the best beach volleyball players of all time come through there. Not even, like, today's day and age, even back with Stein Metzger and um, going back as far as you can go with the rigs and everybody that's played beach. Um, and he was like, this is the best. Say. It's the best player maybe at 16 and under but also like he was one of the best players he was gnarly and then i watched them practice and i was like this is ridiculous so he, is, he jumps just as high <laughs> he bounced one i swear to god it was the best bounce i've ever seen on the beach and it was like looked so effortless to him and it was his first practice and it was like, like found a pocket and just the ball just like went as high as like the lights on the strand it was insane Dude, we're like all the, so were there a lot of beach teams there and they're like, oh crap, this guy's coming to no, the beach. No, 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 no. It was just it was right on 16th Street where we, yeah, where we always played or practiced with them. Like where we practiced with Taylor, that mm-hmm. same court, and it was him, Crab, Defalco, and Lucena, and they were just practicing. It was the day before the tournament, I think, maybe maybe two days before. Wait, Dude, Lucena. I bet like. Lucena when, played with sorry. DeFalco in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Joe. When the rest of the field, when the rest of the field, like, hurry about they're probably like, oh, crap. Like, this guy's coming to the beach. <laughs> yeah, that guy also is even one of the best indoor players I've ever seen. His, he could be the best. He could be the best player I've ever how seen. How come? Then, then how, wait, he's really? So good, man. He, the, he's well, so he did. To, at doing certain things, yeah. There's really good players that are, like, astonishing to watch. Numir was incredible in person. Abdelaziz, his serve was out, out of this world. Um, I don't know if Leon was trying or not, but he wasn't. Uh, Politaev is, like, very special to watch. There's some players that are special to watch, and t- Sanders up there for me, just me personally. Dude. All right, before – I don't want to get too far off topic, but I feel like was he even, like, our best player at the Olympics? I mean, obviously he was hurt, though. Never mind. But in the past couple of years, Sanders. has he been USA's best player or no? Um, or was Matt Anderson or Micah Christensen? And- Anderson would probably people would say it's probably the point score for no doubt, but at least in practice, there's a lot of things that Sander does that's just special. But in my, like, from me it? watching it, just in person, it not it's not like a numbers thing. It's just like whoa, I can't believe you're doing that. Yeah, right. You and, did and that. The, I never really it's analyzed the special. numbers, but like, what about like when he went to like overseas and stuff? He wasn't even like you was he considered? Him, dude, watch. Him play in the plus Liga at the end of last year. It is the most insane thing. You I can saw make a bunch of clips. Of it. Dude, it's ridiculous. And even my coach here was like, Sanders done it. He's like, he's the best player I've ever seen play. And I was like, really? He's like, oh, yeah. I stand cor- I sit corrected. Never, 
I've never seen a player this unstoppable because he came here and at the end of the year last year, he was just insane. Well, before before we get back into Sanders and, and Taylor Crab okay. Beach thing, okay. I, I want to give a fat shout out here to Dr. Price's Vitamins. Again, use the promo code for 20% off, add some 20, 20% off, keeps you electrolyted and replenished. And then also support the boys. Buy the merch. Link in the bio again. Please, please, please. It helps a lot. Uh, it's comfy. Obviously, I'm wearing it all day, every day. You know how it be. Um, but back to it here. So, yeah, those two on the beach are, are – are, so there's, like, tournaments in, like, October and stuff. Like, Taylor goes and plays in FUDs or whatever. Does that mean – I mean, Crab – I guess I'm going to have to refer to them by their last name. So Crab goes and plays in, like, FUDs or whatever. I think they're going to, like, use it as, like, a tune-up or something like that, or they go play in, like, a tournament. Well, like, FUDs is, like, a format. Right, but I'm saying there's tournaments like like that, like like two, well, like doubles. Dude, so I talked to Taylor, and I heard the amount. I'm not going to say it because I don't know, but he's going to play in the money ball. It's a ridiculous amount of money. It is wait, a another one? T Sa- another wait, one? you said Sander and Crab are going? Sander is going. Sander That's... is going, and it is a lot. All right, can you put a... I will tell you guys off air, for sure. Sorry for the people listening out there. <laughs> we got we got offered for Moneyball. Remember, we were so low, we got... It was Spitball. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even Moneyball. <laughs> it was Coinball. They're like, they're like, what? We had to, well, first of all, we were in Texas, and they're like, oh, yeah, you want to drive all the way down there? We're like, sure. They're like, they, they, they showed not the money. money. And we're like, what the like, hell is this? Yeah, it was Pennyball. That's called pay for gas ball right there. Barely. <laughs> each point, yeah, each point you get one penny. Oh my god, we do. We could barely even break even if we did that thing. We were just like, screw that. Like, it was right after. Um, it would have been, We'd have to shoot over right after our tournament. Spike and fest. Like, I was like, if it was a good amount of money, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's play ball here. I don't care. I don't care. I'm playing around Mexican drunk mafia. I don't. Well, what's sweet is that it's like you get money, but it's like you're, it's not your money down. Like, we're, yeah. We're gonna lose money. Yeah, but it's... Only have come a, on. You can only win. One day, one day, one day we will, hopefully. I would hope. Yeah, for sure. One day, we'll, hopefully we have a bigger following and everything, and people will be like, all right, get the addresses and boys out there. I'm like, hell yeah, brother. Anyways, but yeah, that's crazy. I think that I think that's going to, like... That's groundbreaking news. So is Taylor going to play on the right? That's a good question. Probably. The one thing blo- everybody will have question marks about is blocking. Yeah. That'll be we'll that'll be because the fit because I play <laughs> now that I'm a Joe beach Joe, has, prof- <laughs> Joe has the most Joe actually has like Olympic level professional be- international yeah. level experience. I'm a professional I'm professional I made money from playing an international tournament I'm a professional beach level player right um, <laughs> the uh, no but some of those dude like some of those guys are massive they're huge like I always wondered like. Watch on TV. How would I do like hitting against some of these guys like blocking? And I did okay sometimes. You did pretty good. Dude, you didn't do too too bad. You didn't get blocked too many the, times. There were some guys though, dude. They're so big. They're huge. They're way bigger in person. Like Brower Musin, dude. I'm like, holy cow, these guys are massive. That's and so it's 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 interesting. Like uh, it's a smaller court. That's dude. What people don't pay attention to is like. Yeah, it's one blocker, but like there's way less angles. Even way less. Crown, I'm like, damn, I can't hit that like angle anymore. It's like I have to hit it straight down. Dude, we learned on the beat. We learned on the grass too. Remember when we went to freaking uh, South Carolina? My favorite. Gage is, Gage is favorite Dude, place. I, sometimes your volume's low. I can't hear you, bro. Gage, I just said we learned that when we went to the crown. I love South Carolina so much. God, I love it. I G- the issue is Gage always just talks over people and then people are actually saying what he wants to hear no, no you do no, that no, a lot no, no, you no. do that a lot <laughs> you do that a lot actually okay well in this specific instance true. you do that a lot like especially when it's important stuff going on because you feel like the neither saying no no no, no, no. what we no 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 guys 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 and we're like, <laughs> we just said that <laughs> like especially oh. if we're in a rush or anything like you'd love to do that <laughs> that's because i zone out because i don't i'm bad at I don't know. Maybe my ADHD or, kicks it or something. I don't know. Or you, or you're like, or you're like screwing off, and then like in your head you just, oh, I gotta do this, and then you yell at everybody else. Oh yeah, that, we, we <laughs> like what? Give me an example so of that. Hard. Give me an example you of know, that. You know the example. Oh my, there's we so laughed. many we nationals. So hard at you at nationals for that the entire time. We never told you why. <laughs> and you were like, tell me, tell me why you're laughing. That's why. <laughs> <we were> laughing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was the funniest thing. Like, guys, dude. come on. This is a business. I'd be like. Dude, dude, you'd be zoned out. Like, you'd be like, I'm like, okay, Joe. He, Gage been doing this to me. Because you were doing it to me especially. And I was like, Joe, just watch Gage. He's going to come over here and yell at me. But, he, but just watch what he's been doing. You'd be like doing nothing, like sitting down. It's like watching Whoa, Gage. Nobody's was... wearing slunks. Just listen, just listen. Because it's true. Joe can back me up. Yeah. You'd be watching like random games. And then you come yell at me and you're like, Micah, what are you doing? What are you shooting? <laughs> you need to <laughs> And I'm like, and then me and Joe, I'd be like, Joe, I told you. And Joe was just dying of laughter. That was pretty funny. I, yeah, I have no idea. I just switch in because I, cause I, I get into these modes where I realize I don't, like, I don't know how yeah. long it's been or where I am. or And then I'm like, stuff's got to get done. Yeah. Oh, Start throwing it's chairs. Only, it's only on your time because we're like, dude, like we've been trying to get you to, to like w- w- do something. And you're like. No, we need to do it now. And we're like, <laughs> that's true. Trying. That's true. But think about it. I'm think about it. I'm committed. Once I'm committed to it, I'm ultra committed. To it. <laughs> so true. I'll give you that. So that's that's one thing about me, man. Is that uh, once you get me in that headspace, man, I'm Action Jackson. Good times. Anyway, so that's been that's been the big news in the international ball. Yeah, that has. I'm sure as more stuff comes out, we'll. But the, I don't know. I really don't know who else is returning and who's not returning. I don't even know if they know, to be honest. Do you know? I mean, do you know who's returning from the Olympic stuff or anything? No, a lot of them. A lot of them aren't sure. What do you think? It's gonna be like a. They're like, oh, I'll see how this year goes or whatever. How they feel about it. They're probably still processing it because I mean. Yeah, they, yeah. As they feel they underperformed. It. Yeah, and I know that they had to leave the village really fast, and it was kind of like they haven't. Yeah. They had to leave within 24 hours and haven't seen each other. Oh, my since. God. That's horrible. Yeah. yeah, they left with it. Some of them left in, like, 12 hours, I think. Like, they got wait. home at 2 and left at 2 in the afternoon. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't all night. go home. They all didn't take the same flight home? No, because a lot of people's homes are different. So, a lot of the Hawaii guys go to Hawaii. And then the California guys go to California. They didn't. They didn't there's no reason to train. No so did they pack? Did they pack all their clothes? That's everything? a great question. Because they probably got that's so much great, gear because it's have the a lot Olympics. Of stuff. Right, 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 right. That's a great question. That's a really good question. I'm not sure, but I know that uh, people flew directly from the Olympics to Hawaii. Was just talking to Eric about that, I believe. I would. I wouldn't even have time to take a shower and smack my head against the wall. <laughs> you ever done that? Just like you're just after a game after a shower, you're just like, I mean, I don't, I don't like bleed my, I'm like. Uh, 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 <laughs> on the wall. No, you guys don't do that. Okay. I think yeah, yeah. A, uh, I think that's a thing. <laughs> Ranger Danger. <know. laughs> Dude, one thing I'm, I we were I was watching Rado's live stream today, and one thing I can't wait is just to see the Eastern Europeans, especially my coach and like the other coaches, just lose their minds over points. I'm just gonna be dying <laughs> laughing. <laughs> the coach, the coaches, my my uh, the twins on my team, the the Boratevs. The uh, uh, I can't pronounce it right. Their sisters like you're always smiling, engaging. Like, dude, their their coach are always insane. I'm just be smiling on the court the entire time. <laughs> so I would be like, why is Gage always smiling? But like my my freaking outside just punched the ball <laughs> the other day. He was just so mad. <laughs> they better be kidding. I was like, wow, this is. I'm like, I'm in it now, baby, and I'm gonna have no idea what they're saying, which is gonna make it five times better. I'd be like, <laughs> they're just be yelling at me. I'd just be like, okay. It'll be a good time. Anyway, whatever, man. Do the do um, the brothers do the brothers know about your history with teammates girl, teammate sisters? No, I should tell them though. I should definitely tell them. They'll give you so much crap for sure. I hear Americanski and USA <laughs> Dude, around all the time. Every time Jordan and I meet new people in Germany, the first thing we tell oh, them yeah. is that our siblings date each other, and they do. What do they say? They don't. They don't believe it. They think we're joking. But it's the first like, thing yeah, we always say joking. when we new meet. Beth, I, yeah, I, I always wondered, like, how do you guys, like, go, like, how do you guys tell, like, people, like, I'm sure on your team, I'm like, I, I, like, I wonder how you said it, like, now they say my, our siblings date each other, I think that's, be like, my brother, my brother dates his sister or something like that, I don't know. Our outside thought that I was dating Jordan's sister for, like, two weeks. The other day, he's like, you're dating Jordan's sister? I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> do they not speak English over there? They do. Okay, well then, uh, anyway. Anyway, off track. All right, let's talk about a little NCAA women's volleyball. They're 
They're not, no, they're at the beginning of the season. Um, Very much the beginning. First things first, I feel like there's – when I say, like, bulletproof teams, like, for example, let's say you always have an X factor or two X factors when it comes to those teams. I've given my breakdown about the rankings and how I feel the rankings are for women's volleyball especially, and they go for men's, but just in smaller portions. Like, for example, I would say for – the, the people ranked from 4 to 12 in women's, right? But for guys, I'd shorten it down from, like, 4 to 7. And, like, oh, they can beat this, and they can beat this, and what are those teams missing? I've gone through that in the old podcasts. I would give people the plug, but I don't remember what podcast I did it in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to every one of our podcasts, and it'll pop up, guys, from the get-go. Um, no, but I think, I mean, Joe, I, 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 Mike, I don't know how... I mean, I think you saw Texas last year. Just I don't know how well connected I you are, but like, I haven't due to my well. First of all, shout out to the Colorado Buffs and Jenna for being number twenty five in the nation. Let's go, baby! Um, finally ranked. Um, also, That's sick. Yeah, dude, I, I can't. I can't tell you how happy I am. I've gone through so many se- like the last two seasons. I had to emotionally take my emotions out of watching it because I would throw my phone all over the apartment and just start raging after every like seriously and my roommates had to tell me to calm down because we got a few noise complaints because it'd be the most irritating thing ever because it'd be this anyway but they're actually good now I, i'm not gonna but we should talk about everything else so so the only bulletproof teams I, first of all i didn't know dana redke turned to wisconsin i didn't even i thought she was done like what like is it because of covid she came back or what also, yeah. how come how come she wasn't in the national team gym this year at all was it because her ncaa play wasn't that great like in the in the Semis, or because she was like I doing really well. She v- was, was she in the gym? Like, because she was last year, she was at VNL and stuff, and she was doing really, really well. Yeah, I don't know. May our our judgment of U- U.S. women's oh, national team Joe, players isn't very good. <laughs> Joe, you gotta stop. There there have been two cases. It was it was when you told Brad Keller, "Oh, you guys got Denver. You guys are gonna eat." <laughs> And then you tell Lauren Carlin, like, oh, you're for sure going on. I just remember thinking in my head, like, Joe's takes. I don't even try because I don't know. Yeah, what Joe's, Joe, Joe's got to calm down. Joe's guarantees got to, like, got to stop doing those. Joe's, <laughs> those are, are Joe's so bad. Drake, Drake curse. <laughs> Dude, you are the, the Joe curse. Or, or the the NBA 2K cover case. Is it yeah, 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 yeah. It's the 2K cover. Yeah, is yeah, it yeah. the 2K cover or is it the yeah, NFL yeah. one? I swear it's too It's the Madden. I think it's Madden. I think it's Madden. No, actually, Joe might be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't I think know. Too, actually, because Giannis just was on anyone. I think it's I think Madden. I'm, Madden. I'm almost positive it's Madden. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's Madden. Steve Madden. Um, but anyway, so are there any bullproof teams you think this year, Joe? Because, like, Texas no. is No, good, even Texas. Like, I yeah. Th- I think, yeah. Even, that even Texas is too. beatable. Even Texas is beatable. Everybody's beatable. I watched, I've, wa- I've watched the top teams decent amount. And every team's beatable this year. Like, there's no team that's, like, far and away the top team. Two is Wisconsin, yeah. And they're without their best outside from last year, yeah. Haggerty, yeah. She was supposed to come back and then decided late she wasn't going to. She signed a contract. I think she probably got a pretty good offer and then left. But, uh, yeah, there's no team that's, like, that's, a, like, elite, elite. Texas has the has the athleticism. They just don't have the ball control necessarily. Is, isn't Logan a good passer? Decent, but I don't know. That's just Texas ball control has always been. Dude, like, how come Texas can never get a really, really solid libero? Like, come on, like spend one scholarship on like the best libero and then you're good to go. Last year's libero was like. Dude, it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me that who who are we talking to that told us? Oh, is Jenna or somebody? I was talking to somebody about how there's like Division One women's programs who don't give full ride scholarships to liberos. You have twelve scholarships. Oh, a lot. I feel yeah. like. I'm like, bro. Spend one of them on a really good libero. Like, yeah. y- it makes no sense. Why are you we were giving? Talking tw- to, um, Mr. Hames. That's it. Yeah, Nicklin so Nicklin Hames is dad. If you're on the court and there's twelve scholarships and you're not getting anything, it's so ridiculous. And Gabby, Gabby Curry, who we were talking to her. Right, right. We were talking to both of them. Yeah, they uh. Ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. If you're a coach listening to this, and you <laughs> f you. <laughs> we no. I want to hear their logic. All about our opinion. 
I would say. She, yeah, I should ask Brad name. while he was on. I would Brad love to hear the logic. Well, the logic is that there's a lot of good women liberos, and it's an easy position, and it's harder to find six seven, and you can't teach six seven. The thing is that you can't yeah, but that's one girl. Next level liberos as well, and that yeah, and they say like they take a lot of chances on them, and a lot of them don't pan out. But maybe if they do, then they can change your program. But also like. I don't know. I feel like you'd want to be in system in the women's game. Then those other players don't have to be as good. You know what I'm saying? You can all be out of yeah. system. Right. Well, you don't need your third or fourth middle to be like, or your fourth right. middle to be you on don't a full need ride scholarship. Your fourth middle to be a potential All American. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you get your libero to be. to be one, and then you'll be in a lot better spot. Dude, exactly. You look at the past. Look at the past. Libero. Look at the past girls' winners. Gabby Curry. Women's Gage. We get. What did sh- I say? We get crapped on all the time what did because I say? you say girls volleyball. It's women. They're women. People always comment that. So it's women's volleyball. Wait, if I talk about club volleyball, it's girls volleyball though. Yeah. Yes, you can call okay. it girls volleyball, but if they're like grown adults, <laughs> women's they're women. U twelve team. <laughs> No, but if they're adults, they're women. They're the women That's true. that won the 14 and other team <laughs> tournament are so good. <laughs> the girls are looking like so I can't, good. I can't tell you. the like the like There's this one mom who came out to me and I, and at Nationals. She's like, Jeez. I love listening to you guys, but it, I cringe every time your brother says girls. I'm Ooh, like, cringe alert. Just made her cringe again. Consistent, like Micah said, I just stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hey, consistency is very <laughs> underrated. It's so important. <laughs> what if you're just consistently like really bad, like gauges yeah, at, at intros, in, like my intros? I would. I'll take that because I know what I'm getting. <laughs> I can build around it. We can have them not do it. We could maybe. <laughs> hey. Like we could, you know, it's when you don't know what's coming, which is also <laughs> him. That's true. That, that gets dangerous. I'm, Consistently inconsistent because I'll have I'll have I'll have really good intro sometimes. I'm like, wow, that was a really good intro gauge. Really? And I'll have only you, yeah. only you think that. <laughs> I think only like, wow. You think that. In my head, I'm like, wow, I nailed that. You guys are like, god damn it, why do we have? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I really nailed that today, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. Anyway. So the, with the NCAA women's volleyball, basically all we have to talk about there is there's no bulletproof teams. There's going to be a lot of upsets. I wish Nebraska – I thought Nebraska – Dude, listen to this. Listen to this. So Jake Myers goes in the Nebraska-Stanford match at Stanford Tuesday, and I, I wake up the next morning, I and he just got a picture with Nick Lynn and stuff, but I wake up and see they got their asses handed to them. I'm like, how do they go to – they lo- they already just lost to Utah. They go to lose to Stanford. Jake texted me like, "Oh yeah, I was talking to Jalen afterwards, and they're they're just trying out some new line." I'm like, "Okay, they didn't start their two senior outsides," Wait, and I'm like, "That's start Lexi." Listen, just listen. You always cut. Hey, off. that's on me, Coach. My bad. That's on me. Jesus, See, I zoned whole, out, and now I'm back this, in. Now I'm back in, and now <laughs> I'm fired. I'm in. <laughs> this whole damn podcast, you just said cutting everybody off. Shut up. Hey, Joe, that's on me. My bad, Coach. <laughs> so. But my, I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, it's like a huge non-conference match that has like definitely like postseason implications. That's not a time when you try out different lineups like in, in the in your season. I'm like, they for sure got in trouble or something on the road. Like you don't bench both your senior outsides because you're trying out different lineups for two freshmen outsides. They started two freshmen and they got their asses handed to them. I'm like, Jake's like, oh no, Jalen. I'm like, that's the coach's answer for... They got in trouble off the court. They're ineligible. I don't know. Something happened. They got caught sneaking out. I don't know. Who knows what happened. But Smoking doobies. Nebraska's in a tough place right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Dude. One of the yeah. best things I ever heard is from Shane Master Stroker. Stroke. <laughs> was when panels. The, the callback to our old vlogs. <laughs> was, I don't know why. It was just so funny to me. <laughs> but panels was not playing well or something like that. And he just yells. Panels needs a Johnny, which means like a joint or something. I don't know. It was just kind of in the moment thing. <laughs> Smoking doobies in the parking lot. Um, one thing I didn't know that the like, girls' volleyball is like so like. Women's or girls? Gay. God damn it. No, no. I was actually curious. Like, do you mean like young? Yeah, yeah girls. And then, oh, yeah, also women's as well. Also yeah, women's. Now that- <laughs> the NCAA women. 
No, but that's like that's interesting because right, I've I, I've heard like, oh, the NCAA boys, like or NCAA girls. Yeah, dude. I've exactly. heard NCAA men and NCAA women as well. I've heard both. Dude, you're making them all cringe. Was, Watch it, Micah. <laughs> I didn't know it was that that bad. No, it's um, just pe- people have. I've had several people comment also. <laughs> and also your also your own mother doesn't like it, Gage. So shout she out to the moms said, out there. You she said it too. She she's like your brother is so idiot, ignorant idiot, to that. Idiot. <laughs> Yeah, your brother's an idiot. Where exactly. your mom? You ever seen? You ever seen that the video? Where your mom? <laughs> you ever seen that? No. no. Damn, bro, you guys gotta get cultured in the vibes and everything. Gage, you just watch. You've it's, seen. It's getting every... late. It's getting. It's, it's getting late, and I'm getting weird. Start and wrapping getting... it up here. Start All right, one thing. All right, I can't. I can't use the names, but there's like I didn't realize how po- like crazy political like. I guess the word it can be used for for women's vol women's and say volleyball like for it, how like kind of bitchy it can be is like for example there was a there's a top ten program I can't use names and there's a even the top of the top program there's a person who left that program for the other program and I just thought okay they're just transferring through the transfer wire but the one from the lower seated still very top uh, seated program went to the coach and was like oh yeah I'll return it's it's her fifth year I'll return Jesus. If this girl isn't on the team. So, like that, that girl had to leave and she... Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can wow. tell you off air. Well, one, Again, that's sorry, very people. specific, so a lot of people are going to be able to put that together. Yeah. That was if you so guys, I, want you guys to, I want you guys to DM me, see if you guys can find out. Yeah, that's but a good I idea. unofficially can't say on air who it is, but I will say it. I'll repeat again. A top program. We've talked about both these programs on, on this podcast. Um... <laughs> Has transferred through an even topper programmer. Even topper. <laughs> yeah. Videographer. Uh, and a uh, little shout out to the, to the, to the, to the boys over there. <laughs> a lot of inside jokes. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be telling this now. Yeah. Um, but, and yeah, she got kicked off the team and that person returned for their last year, which was, they, people didn't think she was going to take. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So do the math, crunch the numbers and get back to us on that. Anyway, guys. I'm going to try and crush this outro right here. Again, fat shout out, Dr. Price Electrolytes, add a system 20 for 20% off. Again, proceeds, some of the proceeds come to us. Really helps us out a lot. Thank you very much. And it keeps you electrolyted. And again, buy our merch. Link in the bio. Really helps support us. Please, please, please. It means a lot. And you look sick. And you got the, and you got the clout. I mean, you got, I mean, oh, and Grass Nationals. Grass Nationals coming up. And you know you were an out system at, at, at Grass. We post on the story. All they do is win. So if you want to win, buy our stuff. Um, boys, thanks for hopping on. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely night in uh, this Poland and this Germany. I mean, from Bulgaria. I love you guys so much. Just remember, if you can't handle the heat, goddamn kitchen. This has been another episode presented by Ad Damn, I'm good! Oh, yeah, that was good.